This is a brief review of um, SMT359, which is the electromagnetism course uh, at the OU. It comes um, with three books. The, the first book is um, part one, which is um, an introduction to Maxwell's equations. Uh, then we have electromagnetic fields, that's book two. Uh, and the final book is um, Electromagnetic Waves. Uh, I really enjoyed this course. It was um, very, very interesting uh, and uh, not too difficult. Um, challenging, but, um, but not too difficult. Uh, you get um, the uh, equation sheet there on the front cover and also on the back cover which is very similar to the equation sheet that you get in the exams. So it's very good when you're doing the problems to, to get to know that equation sheet very well um, uh, and, and uh, get used to using it. Um, if we look at the index, uh, this is book one, um, Electric Forces and Fields, which is a, um, going over Coulomb's law. Uh, and then we look at um, Gauss's law, uh, and magnetic uh, forces and fields, uh, Ampere's law, electrostatic potential, electromagnetic induction, and Maxwell's triumph is a little bit on um, how Maxwell's equations lead to the um, uh, the wave equation for light. Uh, and then at the back, there's a section on the maths that's needed. And this is really good um, because it covers pretty much all the maths that you'll need for the entire course. So uh, if you if you haven't done the maths before or you're a bit rusty on it, this I found this a really really good section. So it goes over vectors uh, and um, you know and the grad div and curl vector fields, scalar fields. Um, so if you do do the course, I would suggest you go over that section uh, as much as you can. In terms of the maths that's required, uh, vector fields, uh, vector calculus really, and um, multiple integrals. If you can do those two uh, um, topics, you, you should be fine. The next book uh, goes on to, well, it's building on, on Maxwell's equations, um, but then we look at um, waves and um, fields propagating through materials. Uh, and um, that shows you what we have there. So we've got um, electrostatic field calculations, magnetic st and magnetostatic field calculations, forces on charged particles, resistance and inductance, um, electromagnetic energy. There's an interesting section on superconductivity, which often comes up in the exams, I noticed. And, um, and then there's a little section on special relativity and electromagnetism. Uh, and oh yes, and at the back of this book, there's a really handy. Let's see if I can find it. There's a there's a revision there. There's that um, that page there, which goes through the electrostatic side of things and it compares it to the magnetostatic. And uh, I found that really useful. Uh, so uh, that's book two, and then book three is all about waves. Um, electromagnetic waves in empty space, um, generation of electromagnetic waves, and that's the Hirschen dipole. Uh, dielectric, so that's electromagnetic waves as they propagate through dielectrics, um, which is really interesting. And then through conductors, a um, short section on plasmas, and then a section on entitled Seeing Clearly on the um, on the, how the eye works. Um, you know, with, with reg regards to EM waves and propagation of EM waves. Uh, this book, I would say, was the hardest out of the three. So if you are doing this course, I would make sure you get spend plenty of time on this. Um, and as far as any advice goes, uh, read the chapters, do all the questions. You get, with this course, you get... Uh, online you get extra questions. I found those really really helpful. Um, the only criticism I would have, and it's a minor one, is when it comes to the exam the OU doesn't provide official solutions 
to past exam papers. Um, and past exam papers are really handy when revising. So um, you have to get them elsewhere, but they are available, but that's only a minor criticism. I really enjoyed it. Um, the maths isn't too daunting and the subject matter is very, very interesting. But as I said, I would spend more time on book three um, and make sure you've left yourself enough time to spend on book three. I hope you found that of some use.